So, uh, to give you some energy, I bring something from my country, especially for you. So, <coughs> I come from Switzerland, and what are we making in Switzerland? So, it's chocolate. So, that will give you a little bit of energy, maybe enough to, to go uh, um, through this session. And uh, so, please help yourself. <laughs> so, it's that. Thank you. Take the basket and... Okay, thank you. So. And for, we are not so many in this room, so please, if you'd like to, to ask a question, if you have something or an idea to share, it's really the, the good place to, to do it. Just raise your hand and uh, we'll discuss uh, about it. So, as you can hear, I'm a French speaker. <laughs> so, I'm coming from the French part of Switzerland, and I run a small web agency. Um, in this agency, we support a tools, it's G monitoring tools, and first we build these tools for us because we had problems to, to manage all our websites. G-Monitoring is an old project. Maybe for, we start for Joomla 1.5, but with the compatibility to Joomla 1.0. So uh, and now we have the new version for 2.5. And with this version, you can manage 2.5 website and 1.5 website too. So I have a few questions for you. <laughs> so that picture of the last year. Maybe someone are in these pictures? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, how many of you have already tried maybe G-monitoring or have already heard about these tools? Good. And uh, do you have to, to, I think many of you have to take of many websites and propose um, to, to, to raise one finger for 10 websites. So if you have uh, more than 100 websites, you can maybe uh, make a deal with your neighbors and uh, it, it will do it. So we have 18 web 80 web websites. And what about you in the room to, to take to an everyday basis? More or less, huh? Wow. OK. So, and do you have a, a monitoring strategy or, or do you manage this website? Excel. Excel, spreadsheet. And another way to do it? But, ah, you, Niklas, you have, you have a special uh, way to, to manage it, no? Yes, I make all the extensions myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Another way to do it? No. Yes? Okay. And uh, do you have a monitoring strategy? Maybe like ping or to, to see if the website is down? Or no. How many of you using a, a ping service or uh, an alert service? Uh, okay. But, uh, and so what do you expect from, from this session? Will We'll do a small introduction about monitoring, why, uh, on, on which tools, and a small demo of, uh, of G-monitoring, and a small technical part at the end uh, to show that it's very easy to extend uh, the, these tools. If you would like to, to show something else, don't hesitate to ask me. That it's, it's always possible to adapt a little bit this presentation. So, main topic, monitoring. That was uh, the tools we built uh, before G-monitoring uh, to, to stay in contact with our website. What is monitoring is to, to be informed. To be informed what happens 
in our website. If you have one or two websites, it's fine. When you have many, many websites year after year, it becomes more and more complex to, to do it. And the goal is to receive alerts, like uh, uh, on a radar. Is something going wrong? We would like to know what's, what happens. And for monitoring, you can, um, it's a problem of, your, of performances. If you like to see if the system is running well, it could be a different. And why we, we need this kind of tools is to prevent risk. Because uh, I guess many of you have, have experienced at one time a problem with hacker. How many of you have, pro have one time a problem with hacker or security alerts? Or, yes. <laughs> it's, it's current. And um, we had a similar problem a few, few years ago with our website. And uh, the consequences was absolutely terrible. We, the hacker put one page of one megabyte of links with porn, videos, somewhere in our website. And the consequences, we disappeared six months from Google. Six months. And it's a very long time for a web agency. <laughs> oh, do you see something? Yes. That's the screen of the radar before, with all the plane. And that's the situation of of many web agencies, you have many, many websites. And each website are going in a different direction. If, get, if, web, webs, if in this case, each plane are a, a higher, are a speed. And with monitoring, you can more or less, it's not a perfect tool, but stay in contact with all your websites. Extension list. That is a brilliant technique to, to keep an uh, um, extension list. I was at the University of Lausanne, and I took these pictures because the, the main board for message was really, really nice. And our system with spreadsheet was more or less the same than this, because the spreadsheet was up to date Maybe the day we launch the website, but maybe two weeks ago, two months ago, or two years ago, it was totally, uh, you, uh, we can't use this document. That's why we develop G monitoring and how it's work. Sorry, the slide is in, it's in French, and uh, here you can replace with a 2.5, of course. The man ID, you have a master, a master with a master component here. And you have slaves, safe websites. And between the master and the slave, you have a communication uh, level with, with JSON. And the master connect to every slave website and collect all the information. So if you go to gmonitoring.com, you will have to download two components, one for your master and one for the slave. And this one you will have to install on, on every website to do the job. What we can do is, with this, we can have a full list of extensions. We'll see that on the demo. We have the G version. We have the, all the server versions, like MySQL, Apache, PHP. We can see if the website, uh, we, we, we perform some validity check. We will see the, maybe the list. And you can do, do that not manually every morning. We have a cron job. 
and you will receive alerts with, by email or with a feed. And something really great for, for us, uh, it's the log. So everything is recorded into a log. So after maybe a year of a website, you have the main dates, the main important dates on your website that I have done the update of Joomla these days and we change the Apache version of these days. And sometimes when a, a customer call, call you and say, so since 10 days, I have a problem with uh, this, this page. And you go to the log page and see 10 days ago, we had a change on the server. And you can sometimes do, okay, it's a relation between these two events. But we use the email and feeds uh, for our team. So when you will see that uh, something changed, you, we are going to check it on the website. So validity, it's basically the checklist. First, we check if the website is responding. So we use a, a curl method just to grab the content of the website. We see if the Joomla version change, several versions. We check a word on the front page. It's not, uh, because if you check a word, you know that your database is running, you know uh, that Apache is running, and you can display page. It, it's not a test like a ping, because we are not running these tools may, um, so often than a, a ping service. We, on our web agency, we are running these tools every three or four hours. And here we, can, we check sensitive file, like a, a, a HT access file, or uh, index.php file, uh, every index.php file in the templates, with, and the configuration.php file. It's the more common file exploited by hackers. So usually, but it's not, uh, um, usually they use this kind of file to inject JavaScript or other, other things. So if a file change and we have not done the work, we have to check. So, yes? We'll check uh, which component models, plugins are installed and which versions and maybe if there's not there. It's check um, every component, we can see that. On, but actually, uh, I'm in contact with the people of the JED or the VL list, uh, but we have a lot of problem with to, to have uh, specific information. I don't know how many of you subscribe to uh, the feed of the VL for the vulnerable extension list, there, but this feed is very useful, so you receive all the alerts, and I would like to integrate it into G monitoring. So when you have an alert on a component, it will check on all your website if you have installed this component. But the problem with this feed, it's for human and not for, for computers. So we, have, we don't have the technical name of the, of the component. Uh, that's why, and we don't have the version, the exact version. So sometimes I receive like atomic, atomic modules, some things. So I pass these phrases, this phrase, but atomic, it could be a module, could be a template. So it, it's in, we have too many false positives to, uh, and, but we have the tools. We have the tools, but we don't have uh, the source to, to check automatically this information. Maybe later. And for the update, uh, for the update, it, we could be maybe, uh, it's not the case yet, but grab the information from the gupdate system into XML file and build a centralized place to check all this XML file. Could be on, on the future. <laughs> so, oh, sorry, it's in French, so.
So let's switch to, to English. And have a look. Yes, so here is the main list of websites. On this, we have only two, <laughs> but you, have, you can have many of them. It only depends of the, of the time of, of your server. If you have many websites, you will have to increase the time because actually we don't have a, a, cron, a cron system. Of, if you have a huge amount of websites, uh, well, like you, you will, you will have to, to set up a system to, to check maybe uh, 20 websites per, per cron. Or, don't know. So here you have the list with the last verification, the Joomla version, and a direct access to, uh, to the admin. Because if you, if you re receive an alert, usually you would like to connect to this website. So you have the shortcut. And so to add something, only um, okay, click on new. Oh, it's, a, it's a slow computer, very small, but slow. <laughs> so it's easy. Just put a name, a category, the URL. A secret word is the word to check on the home page. And uh, no, the secret word is the key. Uh, on the slave, it's a, it's a token. It's a security token for the communication. And a word to check. And now I can run, I ask the system to verify the first website. You can click on verify, uh, verify all and uh, it will give us the answer. So it's successful. And now I will change, for example, the PHP version. Okay, and I have just to wait. Uh, no, it's good. And if I run the tools again, it will detect this change and give me, because PSP versions, the value change, you have the value here, and of course the server version too. Uh, you receive this information by mail or RSS or, or probably by, with feed. And here, uh, maybe we can see uh, details. If I go to this one, no, I have here the main information about the website, and here. All the components. See Fabric, GCE. Here's G Monitoring Slave, is a component for communication, modules, and plugins. We only, we don't list the core plugins and modules on the system because it takes a lot of place and we know that we have uh, this component on board. And so, on every website, you imagine you have a n new version of GC or a security alert, or we don't know. And you don't know on how many websites you install this specific component. So, you can search. And with the database, it will give you the result with the version and the date. So you can check after a massive update of all your website. If you don't forget one, you know the, the website we have done for, for your friend uh, uh, three months ago. Or this. Or here you can look for a, a specific version of Joomla. For example, I would like only 1.5 website. So, 
And here you have the log. And so I can see on the G monitoring website, so I can filter on the name of the website, so uh, I have only the information related to it. And here is the type, here is information, here is an error, and with a change of version, here is a change in the index.php of the template. Uh, so you have all the life, the technical life, of your uh, website here, yes. Um, Gmonitor checks files, checksums. Yes. What if I do now an update to uh, 254? <coughs> I get all those errors because the index PHP is changed? Yes. Hmm? Oh, yeah. um, alors, the question is uh, uh, if we migrate to 3.0, uh, it will raise an, an alert. So maybe I can show you on the slave, here on the slave, you have a maintenance mode. If you imagine you have a big team and uh, s some people are doing the work, because some, sometimes you have to change the template, but you don't would like to, to raise an alert. Uh, so here you have an option. We have many, enfin, so the content of the slave is, uh, you have only the secret key here and the option. And uh, the option, um, so the, the manual of G-monitoring is very short. You will find it on the, on the website because <laughs> here you have only one option. It's maintenance mode. So if you switch to maintenance mode, the so next time you will run G-monitoring, it will update the reference without raise an alert. Because uh, on, our, our, on the master, we'll see it later, you can add plugins. So you can connect G-monitoring with other systems like CRM or, and if you don't like to have uh, this information uh, with the maintenance mode, you can stop all the alerts. Can you define the maintenance mode? Alors, actually, it's, you, you can't define the file, but it's very easy to add a plugins and to write a plugin for a specific directory or for a specific file. So, if we go back to the master. And so, mm, that's it for the for the for the component. Uh, maybe do you have question relative to this demo? Or it's clear or in, it's okay. So let's back to the one great thing on one great thing in G monitoring is plugins. It's uh, brand new features on uh, these 2.5 versions because uh, uh, on the last one, it was like you said, you, we decide, just my team, to which files is, is checked. So now you can extend it. So you can find few plugins on the website, for example, you have a plugins, it will raise an alert if, a new, new, if you have a new users. But mm, what is the sense of that? On some websites, and especially on company websites, if someone registered on this website, it's not a, a common situation. And so it will raise an alert. The same for components. Uh, maybe you are like me, you have creative clients, no? You know, people who really like to try a lot of things. <laughs> and uh, with this, you receive an alert if someone install or uninstall a component. Uh, the same for article. And we have done an, an assimiling plugin. Uh, the assimiling, a few months ago, we had a problem on our website. We Everybody know assimiling, so it's, 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 it's a mailing tools, uh, very powerful. 
but we have a problem with the ECMTP. Uh, so the, the Q stop at the middle of the, uh, of the sand. So, and we only know that uh, maybe two, uh, two days later. And, uh, so with this plugin, you receive an alert if the Q stop for some reason. And uh, actually, the eShop plugins, uh, it's almost done. We have some more tests to, to do, and we'll extend it to, to, to the most uh, common shop on, on Joomla, like Virtuema, Tika Shop, or, or Red Shop. And this plugin could check the sale of the last maybe three days and compare the average of the sales of the average of the last month, for example. And if you are below 20%, it will raise an alert. And this one, uh, well, not so useful, but it's for the example. <laughs> it's a Twitter, uh, the Twitter plugins, but this one is for the master. So you can install a plugin into the master and to connect to another system. We use it. We have a Vtiger CRM. And when we have a problem with uh, a website, G Monitoring sends a, a ticket to another system. So we have all the information in one place. And you can do that with, uh, uh, with plugins of the master. So now it's time you, after the chocolate, you're full of energy. So do, do you have ideas for, for plugins? What would you like to know on your website? Or just think about maybe situation you yeah. response time. Ah, response time, yes. No, not actually. Oh, that's <laughs> the gateway and also the email is is up. That is actually working. Yes. To check the 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 email it's possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes? I might have missed this because I came in late. What if, if, if one of your installed extensions, if an update for that extension is available? Not yet. Not yet because of, of the problem to have a way to get this information. Yes, it could be. If they use... Yeah, if they have an XML file, you know, an update server with the standard, you know, mechanism, then you just have to fire, somehow fire the check for updates. Yes, no, that's possible. But it's not in implemented yet, but it could be. And, but we have to find a way to, to grab all this XML file to one place, and, uh, uh, but it's possible. From Joomla. Mm -hmm. Okay, on, on the client. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh no, <laughs> it was not. Uh, <laughs> okay. Just a small idea of the of the code. Do you see something? Well, yes. So it's really, really easy to write a G monitoring plugin. Like on the options of the client, you have only one function. It's on monitoring call. And you have to, okay, just to set up a name. And here you can read an old value because every time we check, we send the old value from the master, it's a reference, to the client, and the client can compare value if you need. You, it's not an obligation to compare. For example, in the virtual maps plugins, we don't need to compare. It's only two query, and if we have a, a difference 
a big difference between these two queries, uh, we can reason a lot. So we can read an old value and uh, okay, create a value. And if uh, here we have to put a condition, I remove the condition because of the length. <laughs> and uh, if the condition match, you can create an alert. And you have two levels of alerts. One, the level one is only a message of an information. And uh, the, the level two is uh, a big problem. So, and uh, you update the value and, and that's it. So for example, for, for the email, here we can try to instance a new mail. And if it's successful, fine. And if we have a problem to instance this mail, we create an alert. And you have plugins on, on the master too. So with only one function too, <laughs> it's on alert call. And into this, you have a big array with all the value of the website. So the name, uh, the category, and uh, all, the all the things, and the message. And now you can do what you want to do <laughs> uh, with, this, uh, uh, with this array. And uh, uh, you, for example, you can s set up a special category, and for example, for gold support. And if you have an alert on a gold support uh, client, you can send a short message to a mobile phone. So, specification, it's free. So you can download it, use it. Do what you want with GPL, and it's work on both Joomla version. And something good, a good aspect of G-monitoring on my company, after we put it uh, online, it was easy to s more easy to sell maintenance plan, because it's always a problem to, uh, to s explain to a client that we need to upgrade a website and it, it may, my website is working great. I don't need your upgrade. But with these tools, we can, I say, uh, you know, if you have a problem, we have a robot, it will check maybe four or three times per day your, your website, we will receive an alert, and he understands a little bit better the work. And uh, uh, we had more, uh, it's a bit more easy to sell this, uh, this service. So, the future. It's more plugin, like the test mail, or if you are on your own server, maybe the server load, or other server parameters. And for functionality, it will be uh, integrated with the VEL, so the VNAB extension list, because uh, it's a main source of uh, information on, on problem, security problem on, on, on Joomla. So, do you have questions or uh, things to... Yes. Exactly. So, so you ask if we have a cron job. Yes, uh, you can set up a cron job or do it manually on the admin side. It depends. Some some people don't use a cron job. They only use G monitoring to have a list of extensions and uh, don't care about uh, uh, the other f functionality. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs>